Good afternoon, everyone. It is David Schlotthauer here in the home weather office with a very detailed U.S. weather forecast for June 23rd, 2023 on this fantastic Friday. As always, I'm glad you all are here to join me, and we're going to be talking about the hot temperatures. We're going to be talking about some severe weather that is anticipated. We're also going to be talking about some big warm-up weather for the western half of the US. Now, if you're new and you really like these detailed updates, please consider subscribing if you're new, hitting the like button, and sharing this video with your family and friends on social media. So here's a look at the European model for Friday afternoon, June 23rd, 2023, on the second day of summer. So happy summer solstice for you all that are watching this video on your fantastic Friday. We're looking at showers and thunderstorms across the northern tier of the United States in the way of severe weather. We're looking at the potential for damaging winds today and a tornado threat that does exist over the region. We're also talking about some large hail anticipated with these severe storms. This is kind of the time of the year that we start looking for derechos across the northern tier of the U.S., we got showers and thunderstorms that are anticipated today across the eastern seaboard, across the northeast and the southeast. So if you're doing anything outdoors, going shopping for $5 Friday, uh, please be aware that there will be showers and thunderstorms for the afternoon, especially if you're shopping at Kroger's. Anything that is under the Albertsons, I think it's an Albertsons thing where every Friday it's a $5 Friday. You get best deals on that day. So today, if you're doing any grocery shopping, just be aware there's going to be some showers in the afternoon. Some of them could be quite intense and might even keep you from going shopping today. So just kind of a friendly reminder, watch the skies for today. We also got some showers and thunderstorms anticipated this afternoon across Oklahoma, where on the bottom of your screen, there is a pretty nasty storm moving across the central portion of Oklahoma as we speak. Going forward for um, Saturday morning here, you can see uh, this weather system is going to generate again those severe thunderstorms across the Dakotas in Nebraska and Iowa. And then going forward here all the way into Saturday afternoon into then Sunday, that upper level low and surface low move across the northern tier of the United States, generating some showers, some thunderstorms, also some showers and thunderstorms here if you are in, say, portions of uh, Arkansas, if you're in northern Mississippi, uh, while much of the country here off towards the west is dry and drying out briefly for the eastern seaboard, which is nice for the latter part of the weekend. Now let's go all the way into Sunday afternoon and then into Monday. Yeah, more showers. Yeah, more June showers for the northern or for the upper Midwest, for the Great Lakes, for the northeast. If you are across the southeast, just be aware. Yeah, more showers. Coming back into the forecast for your Monday but yeah, if you don't like the rain for this time of the year, head back west. Arizona, Flagstaff, if you are in uh, Prescott, if you are in Las Vegas, Palm Springs, looking pretty good, including for Texas, looking at some nicer weather, um, but it's going to be humid and that will lead us to some very hot temperatures. And then by the time we go into Tuesday and then into Wednesday, really showery here back across the northeast. It's been that way for a while, cooler than normal temperatures with more rain shower chances um, in the forecast all the way through the end of June. And then more showers possibly arriving across the northern tier there of Montana, Wyoming, and portions there of Idaho. And that's part of another system that tries to drop down by the 1st of July. Now it is too far out. No, I don't have your July 4th forecast yet, but once that arrives into the models, we'll be sure to break that down for you all. So now, as far as those temperatures go, yes, the temperatures are a big story with this video. It has been extremely hot, some fatalities uh, because of how hot it's actually been. I'm sorry, folks. It's not going to get any better for a few more days. You're going to have temperatures at or above 110 degrees across central Texas, southwestern Texas, southern Texas. I mean, it's been really crazy there with historic highs uh, for the month of June. It's been just really unfortunate news for a lot of people that really want to get outside, that want to go swimming, 
it's almost too hot. It's just too muggy to do literally do anything outdoors. So unfortunately, it's going to still be hot for a few more days. I wish I could bring the cooler weather for you all. I mean, it's too early for the season for you all to deal with this type of hot weather. But yep, it's summertime. Happy summer. Happy solstice. So let's go now all the way into uh, this afternoon. And yes, temperatures are going to be really warm. Again, another round of triple digits for Texas. Temperatures in the upper 80s to low 90s across the Midwest and the Northern Plains. Yeah, it's going to be warm, but if you are back west, we're enjoying temperatures in the 70s. The last few days, it's been actually really nice here. Awkwardly, or ironically nice. We shouldn't see this for the time of the year. Temperatures well below average. And then going all the way into Saturday, yeah, look at that. All that purple on your screen right here really denotes temperatures at or above 110 degrees. Temperatures in the mid to upper 90s across the Midwest, like St. Louis, Missouri, Illinois, going to be seeing some very hot temperatures for your Saturday. I say very hot because we're going to factor in the humidity, which will make it feel even hotter. And then across the west, still really uh, um, on the rather cool side, including for the northeast. Canada, really warm too, upper 70s to lower 80s for this time of the year. Going all the way into tomorrow, still warm. I mean, look at this. Temperatures could eclipse 117 degrees in central Texas tomorrow. I mean, this is really, really ironically crazy to see temperatures this hot. It happens. You get 104, 105. I understand that. But man, 118 degrees close to that. Yeah, it's very dangerous. Temperatures in um, Arizona, about 100 to 105 degrees for your Sunday. And then by Monday, still very hot. Look at this for Texas, for Louisiana, for Arkansas, right around 95 to 100 and. 15 degrees. Yeah, that's 118 degrees there. Right here, maybe 118 degrees. That is absolutely ironically extreme. I mean, that's crazy. All right, temperatures warming up in Arizona for day four. And then by the time we go into, say, uh, let's go into Tuesday here, it's going to even be warmer. Look at this. I mean, Texas isn't going to get a break, period. So unfortunate. And then even hotter, look at this, by Wednesday, maybe 115, 118 degrees in central northern Texas on the European model. That's ridiculous. And then it still continues for much of this entire week through the end, or wait, no. Yeah, through the end of this week, um, or next week, I should say, it is going to be very hot, unfortunately. Now it's warming up in California. Temperatures can get very hot there in some portions of the Central Valley. And then it still continues for Friday, for Saturday, for um, say June, uh, July the 1st. Not as hot in Texas, but now look at Arizona. Might be 124 degrees there. 123, 124 in Palm Springs. And then in Redding and um, say Fresno, maybe 115 degrees. Can't uh, rule that out. And look at that even hotter, 125 or 126 degrees in Arizona by the very end of the forecast. So yeah, the pattern is changing quite quickly. So now let's take a look at your temp or your apparent temperature. What your body thinks it feels like outside. This is not the actual air temperature, but this is kind of like your heat. In this is basically your heat index. So what's your heat index looking like today? About 105 to 115 degrees in Texas. And then we go through tomorrow. Still the same thing. 110, 115 degree heat index is going to be the thing tomorrow. And then it's a little warmer in the heat index is 110 to 116 degrees perhaps on Sunday. But look at this. It gets even hotter. Look at that. Might feel like 117 degrees in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas on Monday. I mean, it's not going to get any better. It's going to still be the same going all the way into Tuesday and Wednesday. Look at this. Really, really dangerous with heat indexes at or above 115 degrees. Might even get localized areas that could have heat indexes exceeding 120 degrees. That's enough to really cause heat illnesses instantaneously, heat exhaustion, um, heat fatigue, I mean, yeah, take it seriously. Like, I mean, 115 degree heat indexes all the way through Friday here for the Deep South. 
So, yeah, I mean, I wish I could bring better news for you all, but unfortunately, not going to happen. So now that we talked about our temperature department, let's take a look now at our temperature anomaly. I forgot to bring that up here. I am so sorry. So let's bring that up here really quickly. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. So our, we're going to do our one average uh, temperature forecast or one day average, we should say. And yes, uh, the theme has been for a while below average temperatures across the western half, above average across Texas. But the pattern is going to be changing and we can see this on the European model by days uh, 9 and 10. Yeah, it really warms up. Uh, still very far above average for uh, Texas, perhaps. But look at this. Much warmer weather across much of the West, including California. That could have temperatures 15 to 25 degrees above average instead of temperatures 15 to 25 degrees below average like we're seeing right now. So a huge flip with the seasons here in California. I'm sure the crops are going to like the hot weather because, yes, our grapes right now out in my backyard are running at least a month and a half behind average uh, or behind uh, the picking season because it's just been below average for an all uh, for a 30 to 60 day period it hasn't really been very warm we have yet to see our first triple digits we might not see those possibly until early july so we might go throughout the entire month of Ju uh, june here without seeing triple digits keep your fingers crossed that would be ironically rare to see all right now to your um temp or your your 500 millibar wind chart here this kind of illustrates our uh flow in the atmosphere so the whole consensus here is this ridge that is in place right this is hugging northern mexico and texas that's why your temperatures today are going to be very warm now as we go forward this ridge is still going to be in place nice good ridge too this is quite strong here you can see it's even cut off with easterly flow to its south. So nice looking ridge that is built on top of Texas and northern Mexico. This is why Arizona not going to feel the monsoon just yet. And you can see still the same thing all the way into Thursday. Uh, look at this, how strong this ridge is for the middle to the end of next week, right on top of Texas. That's why your temperatures are going to remain very far above average, possibly more monthly records or daily records broken as this ridge remains in place and then the pattern changes then this ridge um, builds all the way back across the west you can see it right here and that's going to lead to more warming while we get more trophy weather that nose dives across the midwest hopefully bringing relief here to the deep south where it's been quite warm lately now i would like to present you all something that i don't normally present on my youtube channel or in my videos including other youtube channels is the temperature consistency between each model run and the particular city that we're looking at so in this case we're looking at redding california all right so if you look down here at the very bottom of this chart right here where i circled in this is the current forecast. This is based on the latest global computer model from the European, the ECMWF high-res model, 9 kilometer. Okay, if we go up in time, these are later model runs. So kind of an example here, is, or not really an example, this is reality, but this is yesterday's model run. This is the model run before this and this. So if you go up here, this is the latest or the oldest model run. Okay, so that was literally uh 10 days 10 days 10 days 10 days and that now we're looking out into the future so what i'm looking for here is consist, consist uh, if i can speak today consistency among the each model run that we're looking at so when i look at this we look for um you know consistency and what we're seeing here is between 100 to 113 degree temperatures between the 28th and July the 3rd. How, why do I say that? Well, because the consistency here, um, this has been uh, really, I mean, you can't get any more consistent with this 112 up here to 110 here. So there is some 
evidence and confidence by the models here in the ensembles that we're going to enter a pretty big heat wave uh, beyond or by the end of June here. Hopefully it could hold off until July the 1st so we don't see a triple digit uh, temperature. In Sacramento, we might hold that off until July 1st with seeing any triple digit temperatures. So again, uh, we had 105 and 104 here uh, about, uh, this is uh, model run 15, but model run 21, which is the latest, has backed off on that particular day. Now we're looking at 92 degrees, 99, 99, 105, and 103. And again, down here are your days of the month. So this is July 1st, July 2nd, and July 3rd. And we can see our overnight lows too going to remain comfortable here in the low to mid 50s. Let's look at Sacramento. So hopefully, fingers crossed. And again, we have temperatures in the 80s all the way through Wednesday before we start the warm up. So now for Fresno, California. Okay, the reason why I'm showing you all these cities in California is because these areas have been below average. Now we're going to get our fair share of warm weather. And you can see here, um, remaining nice in Fresno all the way through Wednesday next week with temperatures in the upper 80s to lower 90s. And then here it comes, uh, July or June the 29th, the 1st and the 2nd of July, um, going to be about 109, 110 degrees. Supposedly, there is model consensus on that here in the last um, five model runs, particularly on the 1st with overnight low temperatures. That are going to be uh, on the really warm side. Ooh, that was big. Um, with overnight lows in the upper 70s to even low 80s. Really warm there. Bakersfield. Wow, that is really desolate. Look at this. Temperatures about 106 to 113 degrees by the very, very end of June, early July. So yeah, for July 4th, it could be pretty hot for those fireworks. Festi festivities, if you're doing anything. I'm going to music in the park. If you all are in the Lodi area, you can come join me at Hutchins Street Square in Lodi. Uh, wave to me to let me know that you're a YouTube viewer, and I'll see you there. That's one of the 4th of July festivities that we host uh, at Lodi, Hutchins Street Square, every year. This is like the 60th um, uh, annual Music in the Park for July the 4th, and hopefully it's not too warm. Um, but it's probably going to be a little warm out there for um, July 4th temperatures over 100 in some areas all right now one spot that's going to be very hot will be phoenix arizona you've been in the mid to upper 90s lately that's cold for you all you should be well over 100 for this time of the year and it looks like that will happen i mean look at the european mall look at the consistency here going to see temperatures that could reach 115 maybe even 120 degrees yeah, with overnight lows in the low to mid 80s, even a upper 80 overnight low. Yeah, put that in perspective. You're seeing daytime highs in the upper 90s today. You're going to have overnight lows shortly thereafter in the lower 90s. So almost like your daytime high at night showing you how warm it's going to get. And then when we look at our Las Vegas, Nevada, it's going to be very warm here too. 90 today, not too bad with overnight lows there right around the mid-60s, and then look at this. Going to warm up to about 110 to 115 degrees by the 30th and the first, uh, the 30th of June, the 1st of July, with overnight lows here, possibly in the upper 70s to lower to mid-80s. Well, if you did enjoy the forecast, please consider subscribing if you're new. Also, liking the video if you do like today's discussion, and also make sure you leave a comment. Now, one quick announcement do, before I do actually close the video, okay, before I hit stop on the keyboard, um, just a general announcement coming up this Wednesday, okay, is music in the park at the Hutchins Street Square. No, it's not the 4th of July. It's uh, the last Wednesday of each month, and then on Tuesday, on July 4th, there's a music in the park, but it is going to be patriotic themed, it's going to be 4th of July, uh, there will be fireworks, there will be food, and everything, even an ice cream truck, so if you guys want to come on down, even a kids parade, um, come down to Hutchins Street Square in Lodi for more on that. I uh, I want you all to be there, because I'll be there, I'll be dancing, and I'm, you wave to me. If you recognize me, say, 
David, it's your viewer. It's your viewer that watches your videos. How are you doing? You know, that would really mean a lot to me because I'll be there having some fun too. Well, that's going to do with this video. Thank you all for watching.